I am living in a good coffee. I am a good coffee. This is Tampa. It's Pale. Maganda weather. Naalala ko tuloy si San Pedro. Ayaw na po mabasa ko dito. Maglagay na lang tayo ng kubol. But I was recollecting, trying to put my mind, my heart, and my, myself into this remaining moments, final moments for a second hour. I was reminded of the Holy Land that I have seen a couple of months ago. Diba, meron din sila taal lake. And the flowing of the peace. You know, in the Holy Land, there are two big bodies of water. One is the place where Jesus would usually congregate with his disciples who were mostly fishermen. And look at it, the sea of Galilee. Fantastic Galilee. Ang tulad ng mga kibuts, yung mga malalaki, malalaki oranges. They even grow bananas now in Israel. Kaya ko lang, walang laban ito sa senyorita. Pagbaba mo pa lang ay nalalagas na. Anyway, this is a place where in the olden times, before Joshua and Moses would enter the land flowing with milk and honey. So abounding in fish. And uh, the land was rich. And people were very, very satisfied with their produce, with what they harvest. Out, uh, uh, outward bound from the Sea of Galilee, Close to Jordan River. Famous place. No una nga kala ko Jordan River eh. Kasi laki ng Pampanga River. Nawaka. Ako yung pagkita ko eh. Mas malaki pang Pasig River. But this is the... Ito ang pinag-aawayan eh. Kasi this is the water that could irrigate a lot of the agriculture lands. So there is a big, there is a big litigation going on. Finally, until it settles down to another big body of water, which they call the Dead Sea. This is the lowest point in the whole planet. Thousands of feet below sea. Why is it called Dead Sea? Alam ni ko, masarap mag-outing ito. Ngayon kita ko may post na mag-charter tayo. Because, kaya naman pa na marami po, hindi ka magulunod. Kahit hindi ka magulunod, wala ka, hindi ka may pwedeng dundagin mo, baby. Hindi ka may pwedeng pumainanin. Because, ang content ng serenity is the highest. Kaya naman pala pinag-aagawan ng money pack. Ang laking business to. A few kilometers, hundred kilometers from one place to another. A body of water full of milk and honey and a place where nobody would ever sink or drown, and nothing lives on the water. It's dead because of its salt. People have asked, why is it? Why did the Lord, diba, alari naman, pinagdanong natin, bakit pinabayaan ni Lord ang kanyang lupang din po ito? To have two contrasting images well, to the, to the wise, they came up with this answer. It is because the Sea of Galilee 
consciously, generously gives himself up to the Lord. Kaya matani ang kanyang buwan. On the other hand, ang Dead Sea hindi nagpapalabas. Tanggap lang ng tanggap. At ano nangyari sa kanya? This reminds us of our mission in life. No man is an island. We are as we are social beings. Man is meant. If you do not know how to share, you have never learned to live your life to the fullest. Isa yon sa mga bagay na inuutik namin kayo. Bago kayo pumunta sa inyong lugar, kaya yung sarili nyo, sapagkat marami kayong makakaibigan, marami rin kayong makakatalo. Hmm. Siyempre, hay na hay kayo ngayon. Kahit si, sino bang punta sa meron mo sa akin, kukumpinsin ko siya ilang tapon. <laughs> Tignan ko pagkarap niyo obispo niyo. Tignan ko pagkarap niyo parish priest niyo. Tignan ko pagkarap niyo yung mga parokayanan niyo pagkasama sa pastoral council, sa mga organisyon. Palaging kontra tayo. Be ready. And be generously overflowing because that is the only way that we can survive that is the only way that we can preserve the richness of our Catholic faith why am I Catholic? there is a challenge to it. the second thing that comes to my mind in rolling here there is a place there, a mountain where tingin nga kami ng tingin eh. Sabi nung guide namin eh. Merong guide namin eh. Muslim. Sabi nga na yapak ni Jesus. Yapak ni Jesus. Yan ang muli-muli niya yapak bago siya umakit sa lahat. The mountain of the ascension. And this is what is given to us on the 20th chapter of St. Matthew. The Great Commission, the mandate. To those who have been given much, much is expected. Ayan, punta punta kayo dito. Kala ba mo, papanji ba na tayo dito? Day of time. When the Lord ascended, and the disciples were looking up. All of a sudden, the heavens opened, and voila, the angels were looking down. And as the Lord rested in the heavens, the angels couldn't leave their gaze. Pati mga angels, manunit to me, their gaze. And ask the Lord the question, Lord, are you serious? Bakit? Sina ba na pili mo? Lord, baka nagbibiro ka. A bunch of 11 ragamuffins. Kung magsa psychological test ito level na ito, the shampoo at kay Paris, hindi papasa. Hindi sa mga nobles mistress, hindi na dadaan sa butas ng karay niya. Kasi they were very rough, edge individuals. The Lord smiled and said to the angels, Yeah, I picked them. Lord, wala ka namang plan B. Plano ka yun ang plano ka B. They are black. 
That's the only plan. Put your hearts at rest, whatever you have written down, because it is not you only. You are his hands, his feet, his eyes, his mouth. This is this church, this year, is not ours alone. This was conceived to all time memorial by the Lord. And he will see to it that we, the first, I cannot help it. Because you are first God. The Lord has a plan for everything. We had sleepless nights trying to figure out what's going to happen. And now we're at the end. I told you, the Lord will reveal this mission to all of us. Hey, this time, let's think of our poor. Let's think of our poor people. Let's do something ministering to our brethren who are in the peripheries of our society. Tama na yung pag-uhuli sa isang aquarium, lipat sa kabilang aquarium, lipat sa kabilang aquarium. Pumunta naman tayo to sa peripheria. No more black bees. Stick to your guns. And pray in this mass that for the, the two or three days that we have been here, we might find sufficient encouragement, energy, and life and strength to carry on the mission entrusted. He decided to mission it. He nabilin. And what was said by the Lord at the very last line of the pericope of the gospel. Remember, I am with you always till the end of time. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord has blessed us with these beautiful days. The Lord has accompanied us. He entrusted to us His church this mission. We cannot do otherwise. We cannot withdraw in cowardice. But in all faith and all humility, say yes. Amen, Lord. Your will be done. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let's stand up for the prayers of the My brothers and sisters, before we bring to the altar our gifts of bread and wine, before we bless our certificates, before we offer to the Lord our plans, our programs for our different local churches for the year of the poor, let us offer our supplications, our petitions. And for each of our petition, let us all answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us read. Lord, hear our prayers. For the church and our bishops, the clergy and the, the religious will follow the example of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, in his simplicity of life and humble witnessing to the life of the Lord. Let us pray today. Lord, hear our prayers. May the men, women, religious and lady, and those who remain unmarried for the sake of the kingdom of God, express their undivided love of God by opening heart to people in need, especially the poor. Let us pray to God. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us to go out from our comfort zone, that, that there are those who were created equal, but suffer because of oppression, 
There are those who try to humanly lead, but were denied by those in power. Give us strength and wisdom to continuously serve our neighbor, realizing that as we serve to evangelize, they too be instrument of deepening our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead, may the Lord continue to comfort those who are still on the dark, on which our beloved dead has been gone away. May the Lord continue to comfort them, and may the Lord continue also to guide them especially the victims of the calamities, especially the Typhoon Yolanda, and all our 44 heroes, may they rest in peace in the bands of God. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. And let's continue bowing our heads and remembering the prayers of those people who ask for us to pray for. And remember all our loved ones our communities, our ministries. Let's raise up and offer them back to the Lord. Almighty and loving Father, you have heard all our prayers, those said and those left unsaid but are very close to the recesses of our hearts. Grant them into completion if they be for our benefit. For we ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated. 